our balls up, bro, baby. You guys asked for it, I deliver. So if you guys are ready for this video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. Rumble Balls Up, bro, is an insane meta call this format because it destroys Sky Striker, destroys Salad, and fuck, it destroys everything, baby. And before we get started, I want you guys to go on tripgaming.com and check out the beautiful playmats. I'm pretty sure the Iron Man Demian playmats are sold out. If it's still there, there's probably a few left, so get yours right now. But also, you get the two Electro Man playmat. I think there's only like two or three of those left. Uh, they've been around for a while, there's only two or three left. So get yours right now. Go check out the coaching on Patreon. You guys can learn how to be a Pengar, baby. Sign up for the yearly membership for a amazing perks and it's finally time for this time to destroy the entire mech with the best deck. Let's go! <laughs> you guys wanted it, I got it baby. This is gonna be showcasing the power of Performance Ball Zephra, both Going first and going second, so let's fucking get started, boys. This is my old build with Droll and Lockbird. At the time, Droll and Lockbird was, you know, was the beginning of the format. I didn't, Droll will be, I thought will be good against decks in the beginning of the format, but I changed a little bit. I will be showcasing the deck profile as well at the end of the video. First things first, we're facing a best deck that is, eh, I don't like how he built this, bro. He's playing uh, Magician, Ash, Citadel. Citadel and Magicians should, oh, they can never play together, bro. Fucking remove them completely. They're not allowed to be played together. This version, I'm playing Pot of Prosperity. I removed it in favor of making it as budget as possible. And Prosperity is basically just fucking says, add a Zephyr from your deck to your hand. It's fucking banishing six. But is it required? No. Is it nice? Yes. It loses to Droll more? Yes. But people, uh, Droll's, uh, not many people are playing Droll anymore. But it's still uh, very good nonetheless here. So here I'm going to Pendulum summon two, two cards. Uh, I'm going to just attack, attack. Uh, here I had the opportunity if I wanted to get Oracle of Zephyr, I couldn't make this a, a Synchro. What I did was I actually banished, I had a Synchro, I believe I had a Crocosaur in here. I opted not to uh, uh, Synchro away the Zephyr Nui because I want to get a plus one with the effect of nine pillars. Getting a free plus one every turn with nine pillars of Zephyr Nui is fucking vital. I can't stress this enough. It's literally vital. Uh, the reason why you're playing the Zephyr engine is that it not only gets you an engage, but it gets you a free uh, search for next turn. Clearly, he uh, got a light. So he could use alliance because I have scales in my, in my scales. I droll him, and I'm like, sorry to do this to you, bro. <laughs> uh, I link, and this is going to be easy OTK here. I go Selene, I pen summon, and it's going to be uh, he ashes uh, the fact that for Nui. I special droll, axe code, attack the game. So. GG's, we're gonna go game two now. We got a lot of matches here, so get ready, boys. It's gonna be a lot, a lot of matches. So next, uh, he's gonna go first. Go Joker, I got Nib, Imperm, Ash. So, you know, that's a uh, solid. He go one double or nothing. I would side out double or nothing going second. Double or nothing is fantastic this format. I'm playing double or nothing in my deck as well. Uh, double or nothing is fantastic this format because most of the format is uh, Striker and Salamangri. So he goes, uh, I just Nib, Imperm, I catch him there. And now, uh, this is the beauty. Look, normal Veiler. I don't know what this card is. I'm trying to bait out a, a back row. So I normal Veiler to go Needle Pump and Access Code before I even play. I want to get rid of these cards. Access Code is not my end goal. I just want to bait this card out so I know my Zephyr Nui will, will resolve. If my Zephyr Nui resolves, I win the duel here. Because Sork is your low scale and you get you get set up for, for, for good, for game. Access Code to pop the cards that I don't know. And then uh, the second I see it, it's a bluff, my guys. It's game over. Uh, I go Oracle of Zephra, send, send, add. Here, if I really wanted to, could I buy a push for game? If I went Zephyr Nui, did I start with Oracle of Zephra? Zephyr Nui, search. I couldn't even kill him. I need a 2200 attack weak monster. Uh, I was close. I could I was, I could have put him at 300, but there's no reason to push for, for more. Look at my situation here. I have Ash and Yang and Nine Pillars and Yang Zing. Like with a search follow up, yeah, this game, no, no matter what. Uh, I could have popped Iris if I, I should have probably popped Iris as well. I think there's under pen call, yeah, yeah, that's why I didn't lose under pen call. And then just game. I ash the dark core, me is nothing. I negate oh, GG. I'm gonna choose another game now. This game is against a trap heavy deck. This is a trap heavy Crusadia deck, I believe, utilizing the effect of uh, Crawler to trigger some of his cards' effects to get pluses with Digmatica. So it's an interesting deck. Uh, typically, Crusadia can only go second, so he's playing a goal first version, uh, which is very cool. Uh, cause I love fucking traps, baby. You guys already know it's either pendulums or fucking 30 traps. There's no in between. So here we're going to go. Zephyr, Zephyrath, Sen, Alliance, Sork, Add. This is why Joker's so good. Joker 
just guarantees a scale. If I start with Sork, it's the exact same result because this deck doesn't use normal summon. So if I pendulum summon and perform by pendulum sorcerer and add a Joker, it's the exact same thing as opening Joker. They're the exact same. So here I just get a free rank four uh, for free. I get a free plus as well that I'm going to save for next turn. I'm trying to set up for next turn. I get Baguska as for Nui. I don't know what he's playing. I just think Baguska is good versus a little good versus everything. He sets five. Fucking beautiful. I'm like, fuck. Maybe I should have gone Tornado Dragon. But anyways, I uh, normal summon Celeste to get a, a, a add at the end phase. He goes uh, Warning Point. I'm like, let's go do some damage here. He tries to protect some uh, damage. I go Zeus. Uh, and now what I do with Zeus is I wait. I don't need to use Zeus right away. I don't need to use Zeus right away. I just wait. Uh, that's it. I wait. I keep my nine pillars. I keep everything. I don't play a Link 2, I believe. Uh, in this scenario, I think I banish a Link 2 or I don't play a Masquerade at this, at this point when I was testing. So my game plan here is I want to use Zeus to, to get rid of all these. I didn't know that these, th there was no like anything else. I didn't know Punishment was the only like usable card here. So I'm just waiting until the right time. Uh, and so, so I could also get a plus off my counter trap. So I have my Zebra Providence. I'm set up now. I have Zebra Providence. I have scales. I have hand traps. I could Zeus now at any time. So I just wait for him to utilize as many cards as possible. Right now, I Zeus. I, I, I wait for Succession to resolve, actually. I wait for him to use Succession. Here, he normal summons Ash. I'm like, I'm fucking golden. He used Succession too. I'm like, fucking beautiful. All his cards are gone. I set up all my cards. He sent Nitiz. Well, everything's gone anyways. And then boom, my five cards, GG. So that's the idea behind it. Just control. You just control. You don't go for game right away. You never play around. Uh, you always play around in Biru because always four summons. Joker, Sork, uh, rank four, Zephra, four summons. He gets Nadir, but I will stop that with all my interruptions. And this is just game, boys. Like, I have so many hand traps. Nothing he can do. There's nothing he can do. I set up. I go add. I'm out of traps. I have one Divine Strike left. I normal summon. Uh, I'm like, let's put him on a one turn clock. No, oh, this is Nightmare Dragster game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is... I just link summon, access call, this is exact game. Well, not exact game. It's like uh, 7,400. He had 7,000. He drew too many traps, but I think drawing too many traps is good. That's a good thing. Uh, now he draws zero traps. What the fuck? Looks like he wasn't playing trap. Maybe he was playing trap maybe at the beginning, but Nadir searches the traps, uh, so it, it allows him for that. I'm saving my Ash Blossom for the Nadir. Uh, <laughs> and then he goes Desires. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to Ash here. I'm just scared of the traps. I don't care what the Grisadia engine does. I'm just scared of the traps. So, if I knew he had Nadir, I would have done it for that. But I just Ash, uh, the Desires, and then he goes uh, Ecclesia. I Imperm, I'm like, I'm fucking golden. And then he goes Nadir, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. So, the, the, the scenario now, I know that he has Florida Lees and uh, Ecclesia. I don't know what this trap is, I believe. He goes trap now, he wants to get his, his at search, and he wants this to be in a gate. I Oracle of Zephyr to get a turn, fall, uh, draw for next turn. And in this scenario, he negates. I'm like, you know, I could like Mystic Mind if I want to. But uh, Providence, I'm like, I don't need to Mystic Mind. I could, I could get a solid setup right now. Let's waste his Florida Lees. I put this, uh, yeah, uh, he negates. I go Gravity Controller. I attack. All his cards are wasted. Now I can just go Mystic Mind. Uh, he's fucked now. <laughs> I just keep plussing. I'm going to plus off Providence and attack. I'm going to just attack. Set both. I get Cosmic my own Mystic Mind anytime that I want to. Or I could just draw into a Zephyr card. I just play the slow game here. I Cosmic is set. I literally just wait. I could use this to search uh, Oracle of Zephyr, Actor Oracle of Zephyr. Like, you could just wait. I pen two here, and I'm like, all right, I'm going for game right now. I, I send this first. I use Sork to pop my scale, my uh, Mystic Mind, because we both have two cards. I go Joker. I'm like, I don't want to wait. He, I was playing scale. I was playing uh, Pendulums. He could very easily uh, draw into Cosmic that he sided or Twin Twister. I attack. Uh, I attack that first. I go into Gallant Granite, I believe. Uh, Baguska. To stop the other Dogmatica cards he has. I'm set up with Double Counter Trap and Baguska and Ash Blossom. Uh, the thing's negated because of uh, Baguska. He searches. I'm just waiting here. I'm playing the, the wait game, boys. I'm playing the wait game. He attacks. I'm like, that's fine. He goes to the Axis Code. I'm like, fuck. I should have negated something earlier. I negate the Parallel Exceed. And now in this scenario, he has uh, one pop because everything is light. So I mean, uh, uh, all I need is dark. So he has two pops. Which is fine with me. I can't negate it. I should negate something earlier. He tries to pop. I protect. I go Divine Strike. But he, he popped Divine Strike. I just pendulum everything. I don't know why I didn't summon under the Axis Code Zone. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, here I got the Celestial for the follow-up. I rank 4 into Utopia. I'm out of, I, I just want to get into Zeus here. That's why I go Utopia. So I'm going to attack. I'm going to go into Zeus. Here I think I should play some Utopia card. I can just XYZ over. 
Uh, he goes Ecclesia, I Ash. He top decks uh, Punishment anyway, so it doesn't really matter. 500, I do this like, knowing that I just normally send a Celestial for game, so GG, boys. GG. We have another one here. It's just showcase cards you wanted. I promise you guys, like, fucking five matches. I actually have 10 matches with this. I believe this video is just going to be four matches. We're already nearing 10 minutes. I don't want to hit, like, a 20-minute video. So uh, I'll show you guys how good this is. So sometimes you do have a lot of Zephyr cards, as you see here, but it's fine. It's totally fine. You need to see the Zephyr cards, especially going second. You activate a Zephyr Providence, they'll like Savage negate. So you just use your other Zephyr Providence. It's totally good. You're fine with those scenarios where they negate your Zephyr spells because you just use it again if it's negated. Uh, here, this is a perfect setup. Zephyr Nui, nine pillar counter trap because you want to add again with the Zephyr Nui and then hand traps. This is fucking perfect. Control Pendulums, baby. All his, What's his fucking Crow, Skullmeister, Nibiru, all those cards don't do jack shit. If you Valor or Imperm my Zephyr Nui, I really don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care. Like, that just means that my I'll get my trap next turn or the next turn or the next turn. You run out of traps in this deck. So if they hand trap your Zephyr Nui, you don't care. So here, I'm trying to play the long game here. I negate the reflection. I recognize in this scenario, my Valor's dead, but there's nothing he can even do anyways because he's one card left in hand. Uh, so here, I'm going to go, I'm going to search uh, uh, Zephyr Thuban. He's going to attack with the Jackal. Now in this scenario, right hand is going to negate the first spell. Uh, I negate, uh, but I pop. Uh, I normally summon first to pop because only one kind of Jackal. So my Zephyr Province actually resolves here. I don't know why, the, why I, did, I just let them send it to the grave. I'll be adding a Zephyr, random Zephyr card soon because it should have resolved. Uh, he had no spell in the field, obviously. Uh, so yeah, there it is. I add that. I Pendulum Summon. Yeah, I Pendulum Summon them all. Uh, turns into a Synchro. Uh, send those into Needle Fiber. I try. I, I want to pop all his board. And I want to put him on a one turn clock because I have Divine Strike Droll Valor. So whenever you can... Uh, Whenever you have this many interruptions, and you, this, it's good to put them on a one turn clock. I know right hand is going to do jack shit. I know I have a cannon trap, droll, and Valor. So I'm trying to put him on a one turn clock, and that's what Axis Gold does here. I don't need another negate. when I If I just put him on a one turn clock with three negates and with one card in his hand, it's game. So control when you can, but kill also when you can. So here I draw hand trap galore. Imperm, Nibiru, Ash, Dino Wrestler, Nine Pillars. So fucking hand trap galore. Uh, it's This is great for me. I'm okay with this. My, vi my vision here is Nibiru Imperm on his, uh, after he loses all his cards. Normal Summon Ash Blossom, I'm going to Axis Code Talker, destroy everything he has, and we're fine. <laughs> we're, we're fine. That's all we need here. That's fine. And uh, you're totally good. That's my idea. Put him at one, like, no cards. I Nibiru here because he had nothing else. Saving my Imperm. I attack. Uh, there's not much I could do here. If I really want to, I could Tribute Summon the uh, Zephyr Nui. Uh, to make my nine pillars live, but I also think there's just no point. My Nibiru is a big, big boy right now. He can't get over, the, can't get over it at all. I have Imperm and Ash. I should have put Imperm here. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Uh, and, and we're good. We're fine. We're fine. Here I Ash the Abductor. Was he out of Time Gazers? So uh, I'll tell you guys a play he could do here, which could have actually maybe won him the game. If he goes Chronograph to Special Time Gazer. Uh, and go linking to Artemis, the link one, he knowledge is away, and then he draws two, and he has a, a chronograph and extra deck, draws two, anything can happen, bro, anything can happen in that scenario, so that would have been a lot better for him, here I draw Mystic Mind, still dead for me, uh, I'm thinking I really should fucking tribute my Zephyr Nui, I'm still not doing it, he just scales the right hand, activates the right hand, I draw the Providence, I'm like, oh, he's fucked now, he's fucked, because now I'm going to get an interruption from Dino Wrestler by Tribute Summoning. I'm going to show you guys what I mean. I'm going to go uh, Zephyrath to send. And out here, I just summon that. Summon one. I pop his Abductor. Uh, or do I pop? Yeah, I pop the Abductor. I attack uh, for as much damage as possible. I'm going to Tribute a Dino Wrestler. He's going to have to deal with Dino Wrestler Imperm. And he does draw into Mastery. And thank God I fucking did the Dino Wrestler. But if I didn't do the Dino Wrestler, I was pretty fucked. So I uh, also have a Nine Pillars, which I'm like, yo, fuck, wrong card. For some reason, I thought this was Divine Strike. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so he goes, Pen Summons 1, I just keep this. Top deck, the fucking best card in the game. And uh, that's just game from there. I would scale a Sword, Pen 5, and then this game. This is going to be our last replay here before we go into the deck profile. And this replay is going to be a fucking good one, boys. So pay attention. So here, we got uh, Prosperity for 6. You don't need to play Prosperity. You really don't. And we got another Pen Mirror match here, which is great for you guys to learn. So all you Pen players out there, I'll be coaching right now. I do this on Patreon all the time, uh, on especially in Mirrors. God, I can coach when I play, and I can coach when the opponent plays. So that's really cool. Here, we don't have the hand to build the Pen Summon the Sorcerer, which is fine. 
uh, that's totally fine. If I wanted to, I could have Zephrath send a low scale, uh, scale Zephrath, uh, scale Zephyr Nui, Pendulum, low scale, and Sork, but double counter trap sounds too nice. I didn't want to do that. Double counter trap with Nibiru, which is game against any deck, any combo deck, easily. I just wait till, uh, I just wait until I can Nibiru, and if they negate, I counter trap, but I'm like, you know what? Let's just negate everything now. I don't think that was the right play. I should have waited until the very end. Uh, putting him at this scenario where he has three cards. Uh, he does so much extra damage to me. So I'm kind of disappointed in myself uh, that I even allowed this to happen. I should have just waited for him to do everything. And then I negate at the end. Uh, so he goes Crowley here to search secrets. I don't know why I don't negate the Crowley. It's fucking beyond me. Oh, I know why. I negate the knowledge. That was stupid. Why didn't I... Uh, Oh, I think I know. I know exactly why I didn't do it. I wanted to save this for my turn. So what I wanted to do was, if you got Blue Boy or Secrets, I believe, yeah, Blue Boy or Secrets, you'll normal the Blue Boy Secrets, and then on the see when Blue Boy's on the field, when he goes Knowledge, I Nibiru, and everything's gone. I think that was my idea. Uh, anyways, so here uh, he has, uh, he still has Mighty Master, so we'll see what he negates with Mighty Master. I try to be smart here with what he negates, uh, because I, I, I'm going to need, uh, I'm gonna need some cards here. So what I do, what I should what I should have done is just normal this right away before he negates anything. Just normal this and, and kill. I don't know what I'm thinking. I pen summon both. Chain block. That was a bad play. Why didn't I just fucking normal summon? Yeah, normal summon pop was game. Anyways, I chain block to make this uh he can't even negate anything. Anyways, this uh so I pop the I pop the servant because I know that this can't be any uh I pop the servant because I know that he can't negate anything. And then my next play is uh, Needle Fiber. Yeah, I make them the uh, tuner. This is the beauty of Zephraxi. Zephraxi goes to the bottom of the deck, but uh, it could be a tuner. It can make anything a Needle Fiber. That's why I like the Hand Trap version. I think the Trap version is good in like pure, 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 but with Hand Traps, it is just guarantees. Uh, what the fuck did I do there? Oh my God. I remember. I sided. Guys, don't be like Triff. I sided out all my Veilers in this matchup. I think Valor sucks. So I didn't have any Valors. I realized fucking late. <laughs> so uh, after my, I realized my mistake there, I just fucking tri I tribute someone in Nibiru. So despite me being stupid, I still had the foresight to tribute someone in Nibiru and attack. Who the fuck does that? But it was enough for game. So good, good, for, good for me that I remember that. Secrets, and I'm like, oh, buddy, I'm fucked now. So he has access to, he has access code. This is game. I lose. Oh, I remember. He only put, yo, this guy's a fucking chat. So take this in. This guy only plays cards he has in real life. He doesn't fake it for dueling book. Otherwise, he could access code kill. I was about to scoop. Never give up, boys. What a chat, though, for playing only cards that uh, he has. So then I just saw, man, it was going to be game. Uh, but, yes, yeah, shout out to him for having balls to do that. Uh, and, yeah, it was... I would have won game three anyways, so it didn't matter. Uh, I always top deck the Joker. This is the second... This is, like, I top deck Joker, like, three times. I'm the fucking performer ball god, boys. Let me tell you. And, yeah... That's just going to be game. I just play it easy. Zeus, GG. That's it, boys. That's it for the match. Now I'm going to showcase you guys the deck profile. And this is the deck profile. Perform Bell Zephyr. I showcased it in a video before. The deck's fucking insane. It really is. Like, look at it, bro. Uh, kill them with double or nothing whenever possible. A shit ton of hand traps. This version is changed from the version you saw in duels. This is my updated version. Because at the time, I was playing hand traps that are good versus the meta at the time. Which is like a week ago, which, which I thought was all Drytron and Sky Striker. Which I thought Joel would be good for. Now, Joel's not that great. So I'm just siding it for when you face those decks. Shit ton of hand traps, uh, good backer removal, and that's the deck, boys. A lot of XYZs and synchros, because you want to take advantage of your rank four plays and your synchro plays with Zephraxi. The synchro plays with Zephraxi are really fucking cool. So you always need the Neo Fiber so you can access for combo there. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Check out the play mats on tripgaming.com and check out the coaching on uh, my Patreon in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next video. Peace! <laughs>